Have you ever wondered what the future holds for humanity as foretold in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelations? It's a question that has intrigued scholars, theologians, and laypeople alike for centuries. The book of Revelations, also known as the Apocalypse, is a profound and complex text filled with vivid imagery and symbolism. It's the final book of the New Testament, and it presents an apocalyptic vision of the end of the world. Our purpose in this video series is not to incite fear or speculation, but to explore this fascinating book in a thoughtful and respectful manner. We aim to delve into its mysteries, understand its messages, and appreciate its relevance in our lives today. Now, the book of Revelations wasn't just scribbled down on a whim. It is believed to have been written by John, one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. John was exiled on the island of Patmos at the time of its writing, a small, rocky outcrop in the Aegean Sea. Amidst this isolation, he experienced a series of prophetic visions that he recorded in this final book of the New Testament. The book of Revelations holds a significant place in the biblical canon. As the concluding chapter of the New Testament, it wraps up the biblical narrative with a grand, cosmic finale. It invites us to ponder over the larger-than-life themes of good versus evil, divine justice, and the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom. Yet, despite its significance, the book of Revelations often remains shrouded in mystery. Its symbolic language and vivid imagery can seem obscure and frightening. But fear not, for we are here to explore this book together, to shed light on its mysteries, and to unpack its profound messages. So, are you ready to embark on this journey? Are you prepared to delve into the apocalyptic visions of John, to grapple with the cosmic battles, divine judgments, and the glorious promises of a new heaven and a new earth. If so, then buckle up for an enlightening journey into the intriguing world of the Book of Revelations. In the heart of the Book of Revelations, we find seven seals, each unveiling a different phase of the end times. But what do these seals mean? Well, let's take a journey together and find out. The first seal introduces us to the White Horse of Conquest. This horse represents the spreading of the Gospel, the Good News, to all corners of the world. It's a symbol of the Word of God riding forth to conquer hearts and minds. Next, we encounter the Red Horse of War. This fiery steed symbolizes conflict and strife, a world turned upside down by the clashing of swords and the echo of battle cries. It's a stark reminder of the chaos that can ensue when peace is shattered. The third seal reveals the Black Horse of Famine. This horse is a harbinger of scarcity and hunger, a stark reminder of the fragility of our world's resources. It calls us to reflect on the importance of stewardship, of caring for our world and each other. Then we meet the pale horse of death. This horse is a stark symbol of mortality, a reminder of the fleeting nature of life. It's a call to cherish every moment, to live fully and love deeply. The fifth seal, the cry of the martyrs, is a testament to the strength of faith. The souls of those who have been slain for the word of God and for their testimony cry out for justice. It's a symbol of perseverance and the power of belief. Then comes the great earthquake, the sixth seal. This seal symbolizes upheaval and change, a world in flux, shaken to its core. It's a call to stand firm in the face of adversity, to hold fast to our faith. Finally, the seventh seal, the silence in heaven. This silence signifies the awe and reverence for the unfolding of God's final judgment. It's a moment of profound reflection and anticipation. The opening of these seals paints a vivid picture of the end times, don't they? But the seals are not all. There are also seven trumpets and seven bowls. What do they signify? The trumpets and bowls, as described in the book of Revelation, are not mere musical instruments or vessels. They are symbolic each holding a unique and potent significance. Let's delve into the seven trumpets first. The blowing of these trumpets by seven angels is a signal of God's impending judgment. Each trumpet heralds a different catastrophe designed to shake the world and its inhabitants to their core. These cataclysms range from environmental disasters to warfare, each more devastating than the last. The trumpets serve as warning shots, a divine wake-up call for humanity, urging repentance before the final judgment. Now we come to the seven bowls. The seven bowls, or vials as they are sometimes called, are filled with the wrath of God. They are unleashed by seven angels after the sounding of the seven trumpets. 
Unlike the trumpets, which serve as warnings, the bowls represent the final judgments of God. Each bowl, when poured, leads to an unimaginable calamity, marking the end of the world as we know it. The bowls signify the ultimate destruction of evil, purging the world of sin and preparing the way for a new creation. The seven trumpets and bowls are not merely elements of a dramatic narrative. They are profound symbols that carry a deep message. They demonstrate the severity of divine judgment and the finality of God's condemnation of evil. Yet they also convey hope. The trumpets with their warning offer a chance for repentance. The bowls, in their severity, promise a world free of evil. In essence, the seven trumpets and bowls represent the divine plan in action. They are tools used to execute justice, to purge the world of evil, and to bring about a new, more perfect creation. They are stark reminders of the consequences of turning away from the divine path and the hope that comes with redemption. The trumpets and bowls, like the seals, play a crucial role in the unfolding apocalypse. They are fundamental to understanding the message of revelation and the divine plan for the ultimate victory of good over evil. The climax of the book of revelations is the final judgment and the promise of a new creation. But what does this mean for humanity? In the book of Revelations, the final judgment is described as an event of momentous significance, where the dead, both great and small, stand before God's throne. Each person is judged according to their deeds, recorded in the books of life. The sea, death and Hades give up their dead, and anyone not found in the book of life is cast into the lake of fire. This scene, though daunting, is a call to accountability, emphasizing the importance of living righteously. But the book of Revelations doesn't end with judgment. Instead, it transitions into a glorious vision of a new heaven and a new earth. The old order of things passes away, and God makes everything new. This is the promise of a new creation. God will dwell with humanity, wiping away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, mourning, crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This vision of a new creation is not just about a new physical reality. It's a spiritual and moral renewal as well. It's an invitation to imagine a world of justice, peace and love, where God's presence is fully realized among people. It's a world where the lamb and the lion lie down together in harmony, and where the tree of life, with its healing leaves, flourishes by the river of life. The book of Revelations, despite its vivid and often terrifying imagery, concludes with a message of hope and renewal. It's a promise that despite the trials and tribulations of this world, a new beginning awaits humanity. A new world, free from sorrow and pain, where God's love reigns supreme. So the final judgment and the new creation are not just about the end of the world, they're about the beginning of a new one, a world transformed by the power of divine love. Despite its apocalyptic themes, the book of Revelations ends on a note of hope, promising a new beginning for humanity. We've journeyed through the book of Revelations, but what have we learned? We've teetered on the precipice of the apocalyptic vision, exploring the rich tapestry of symbolism and prophecy that dances across its pages. Our journey began with the unveiling of the seven seals, each one unfurling a new layer of divine revelation. Each seal, a piece of the cosmic puzzle, brought us closer to understanding the divine narrative woven by the hand of God. This narrative crescendos with the sounding of the seven trumpets, each blast echoing a divine judgment and heralding the coming of a new epoch. Yet, the trumpets were not the end. The seven bowls followed, pouring out the final plagues, the last vestiges of God's wrath upon a world that has strayed from His path. In the face of such cataclysmic events, we may feel overwhelmed. Yet, it's crucial to remember that the book of Revelations isn't just about destruction and judgment. It's also about redemption, salvation, and the promise of a new beginning. The final judgment and the new creation remind us of this. The righteous are rewarded, the wicked are punished, and a new heaven and a new earth are born from the ashes of the old. It's a powerful testament to the enduring love and mercy of God, even in the face of humanity's darkest moments. Our exploration of the book of Revelations has revealed an overarching theme, God's ultimate victory over evil. It's a reminder that no matter how chaotic or uncertain our world may become, 
God's plan is always at work, leading us towards a future where His love and justice reign supreme. The book of Revelations, with its vivid imagery and profound messages, continues to captivate and challenge us, doesn't it? Remember, it's not just a book about the end times, but also a book about new beginnings.